Las Vegas is a top destination for Californians. That's no secret, but the latest migration numbers are eye-popping. 4,000 people moved to Las Vegas in October. Most of them came from Los Angeles. That's according to real estate brokerage Redfin. Mike Allen joins us now to break down the numbers for us. Yeah, John Jacklin, seeing California plates on the road is nothing new here in the Valley. But man, that L.A. to Vegas move is really uniquely popular, especially lately. And I actually talked to someone tonight who is making that move next month. I recently took a position with a tech company that deals in turf grass, sports fields management. Alex Opkenorth lived in Los Angeles for three years until this past spring and is currently back home in Wisconsin, getting ready to move here. Las Vegas uh, is just a really good central location for the southwest region that I'm going to be covering. He's not alone. People moving to Las Vegas from L.A. make up most of the out-of-state migration here, according to Redfin. Zooming out a bit, I also looked at Census Bureau data, which tracks state-to-state -state migration. I found that over the last six years of data, there's been a steady increase in the amount of people coming to the Silver State from the Golden State, with a big spike coming during the COVID pandemic. These numbers represent about 7% of the total amount of people moving out of California and 40% of the people moving to Nevada from other states. A big incentive to make that move, it's a lot less expensive here. Just cost of living in Los Angeles kind of getting to a point where it was hard to justify staying there, so started to look elsewhere. Arts and entertainment were also big attractions for Opka North, but the surrounding landscape was what really sold them. Really the big thing that's attractive to me in Las Vegas is the outdoor community. Um, very involved with backpacking, camping, hiking, rock climbing. And for Opka North, it's actually also easier to see his family from here in Vegas. He gets a direct flight from Harry Reid over to Wisconsin where he grew up, and he did not have that in LAX. Reporting live tonight, Mike Allen, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas. Redfin's numbers show the average cost for a home here in Las Vegas is about as half as much as a home in Los Angeles.